Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning everybody. My name is Alvinda Pendra Agustina from Universitas 11 Maret. Today, I'll present our research about effect of rotational speed on microstructure and optical properties of bismuth ferrite oxide or BFO. Next. As we know that BFO film is an interest material for electrical and optical application, so lower band gap will use than conventional ferroelectric. This makes BFO a very promising candidate for photovoltaic application. Previous research from SEN about effect of thickness on ferroelectric and photovoltaic properties of BFO film and as a result so that the film can absorb visible light easily if the film is thinner. Then from Santika about effect of thickness on optical properties of BFO film grown on quartz substrate. As a result, so band gap obtained was 2.621 electron volt. This result indicates it is still too large for photovoltaic application. So we are trying to get more lower band gap. So it is study the BFO will be made using GSD uh, method. This study aims to examine the effect of rotational speed on microstructure and optical properties of BFO deposited on quartz substrate. Next, uh, for experiment, we use bismuth, iron, acetic acid, and 2 methoxy ethanol as a solvent, then acetyl acetone as stabilizing. BFO solution deposited on quartz substrate with rotational speed of 1000, 2000, 3000 rpm and then repeat this process to get 4 and 8 layers. Annealing at 600 degree for 60 minutes. And then identification using XRD, SAM and UV uh, UV equipment. Then next for result, um, uh, the diffraction pattern of XRD characterization result were made with BFO ICDD, figure one A and B, so that uh, intensity of crystal field orientation BF decrease with increasing rotational speed. The higher the rotational speed is, the greater centrifugal force is produced so that more BFO solution is dispersed out the substrate. As a result, the thickness of film decreases. The, the thickness of film is linearly correlated with intensity of crystal structure. Then, the low number of atom making up the crystal cause the probability of formation BFO decrease uh, so that the result XRD intensity is low. Increasing the number of film cause higher intensity. The crystal size from this table, uh, the crystallite size obtained in variation rotational speed and number of film is relatively same. This so that Generally, variation of rotational speed and several film do not affect in the crystal size. Table 1, this table, so that the higher the rotational speed and several film, the relatively crystallinity. And BFO crystal occur in the annealing process, so that variation of rotational speed and number of film do not affect the crystallinity, only affect the intensity. The intensity. And, um, and so that um, and table one so the result of a relatively similar lattice strain along with the increasing rotational speed and number of film and then next the result of SAM uh, scanning electron microscopy morphology of BFO film is so in figure two, sorry, in figure two, this one, increasing rotational speed causes the result film to be thinner and 
more evenly distributed, high homogeneity, the boundaries between crane appear more clearly, as we can see from figure 2. The crane are denser, so the porosity is low. We have a film with various number uh, of film. It's apparent that the number of film egg is much more homogeneous. Uh, this one. A more homogeneous, lower porosity, the boundary between crane is more clearly visible compared to the number of film 4. Next, the result and discussion of optical properties. And uh, transmitter spectrum is so figure 3, this one, A and B. The crib so the the uh, the graph show that the higher rotational speed and number of film, the higher the peak transmitting value. It is so that the FO material is able to to absorb photon well in UV region, yet cannot absorb photon well in visible region. And then figure four, this one, figure four, figure four, A and B. So the refractive index. So the refractive index. The higher rotational speed causes the lower refractive index of film. This due to the thinner and more transparent film. And figure four. Uh, so that increasing the number of film causes a decrease in value of extinction coefficient or attenuation. The higher the rotational uh, speed cause extension coefficient value to be lower. This is so the ability of material to weak photon is still low. This can be seen in figure 4. This one is figure 4. And the higher the rotational speed, the smaller the value of NNK or refractive index and uh, attenuation. This is due to the thinner and more transparent film so that the photon absorbed are smaller and causes a large transparency value. Figure uh, 5, figure 5, this one, 5 and B. Uh, so a linear relationship between uh, photon energy and refractive index. And then figure uh, 5, C and D, so a band gap. And the band gap energy result on sample 1000 to 1000 and 3000 for four layers respectively 2.4, 2.4, 2.5, and 2.5 electron volt. And the band gap uh, energy result on sample 1000 to 1000 and 3000 RPM for eight layer respectively uh, 2.3, 2.2, and 2.4 electron volt. Next, for conclusion, the result of the characterization so that enhancement rotational speed causes the intensity of crystal field orientation to decrease. Crystallite size and crystallinity are the same. Surface morphology is getting smoother, flatter, lower porosity and the current to be homogeneous with thinner thickness. The addition of the number of film causes higher intensity. Crystalline, crystallite size and crystallinity are the same. The film get thicker. The, the morphology get rock and the boundaries between crane become clearer. Increasing the rotational speed and number of film causes the refractive index and attenuation coefficient to be smaller. The light dispersed measurement so a linear relationship between photon energy and the refractive index and the energy gap generally between 2.2 and uh, until 2.5 electron volt well um, thank you for your attention and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh